Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to the best day of the month, Sheetload of Cards Day. The beginning of the month is always an exciting time here on my channel. It is when I debut the new free Sheetload of Cards printable. If you're new to my channel or to Sheetload of Cards, this is a two-page PDF that I share each month with my subscribers where I give you a new sketch and then supply list and cutting guides to make the most of your products and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 depending on the sketch, paper size, and card size. Today I'll be sharing a look at the new printable showing you the first set I made and telling you how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Tomorrow I'm going to be back and I'll be showing you how I made my first set of cards and like always my creative team will be joining me in sharing their takes on the latest sketch. I do have everybody linked down in that description box below so if you're not already subscribed go ahead and do that so you're all ready for tomorrow. Throughout 2024, we had some guest artists join us each month as well. A great big shout out to everybody who did join us, and I hope that you, the viewers, enjoyed seeing what they created. I do have some kind of sad but exciting news about the creative team. The sad news is I do have a couple team members leaving us. First of all, you might have noticed that Teresa from the Fresh and Renewed with Teresa YouTube channel hasn't been sharing with the team for a couple months. She unfortunately has had to decrease some of her crafty commitments and she is taking some time to take care of herself. Hopefully we will see her back in the future. Teresa has been a champion of Sheetload from the beginning and always seems to use it even on non-team related items. Thank you so much, Teresa, for your time and dedication. Secondly, one of our longtime team members, Amalia, has decided that December will be her last month with Sheet Load. I think she has been here since the beginning and her time and dedication to the team over the past years is greatly appreciated. She'll still be sharing as part of my Oso oh Inspired collaboration, and she'll still be sharing videos on her channel. So make sure to subscribe if you don't already to see her future projects. Now for the exciting news. I invited two of our guest artists from 2024 to become permanent members of the team. So they're going to kind of be guests again here in December, and then starting in January, you'll see them each month. So please help me welcome Letty of Party Planner Papery and Beck Ann of Beck and Sam Crafting Fun. I'm super excited for them to join us, and I hope you are too. Again, as always, if you're not yet subscribed to them, I hope you'll take a minute and go do that. I know that everybody on the team appreciates that subscribe and when you stop by, see what they created and leave them some love. Before we take a look at the December 2024 Sheetload of Cards printable, I have some more exciting news to share with you. In the month of November, I had some members earn their two-year membership badge. Congratulations to Betsy Hevesy. Kim Daniel, Penny Peterson, Amanda McVeigh, Esther Dean, Karen Warns, and Tammy McKernan. Also in November, some members earned their three year membership badge. Congratulations goes to Ursula Milton, Ann Simpson, Robin Trevilian, Paulette Bowles, and Cotton Crafts. Thank you so much to each of these members for your continued support. It really does mean the world. 
If you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, you can check out the join button below this video or the link down in the description box. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the new sheet load of cards. If you follow the sketch, supply list, and cutting guides, you're going to yield eight cards using the new printable. Now you might look at this sketch and think, hmm, that seems familiar. Well, it should. This layout was based on the July 2024 edition, which was a 5x7, and I mentioned at that time I would be back to convert it to an A2. So December's a lucky month for that. To get those eight cards, you'll need two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper, two card stocks for matting in your sentiment, and of course, some card stock for your card bases. As always, if you don't need a sheet load or maybe you have some scraps to use up, I do give you the dimensions for each piece on page one. Special note for channel members this month, I will have an SVG to help you cut out the semicircle for your sentiment and focal point. So make sure to check out the membership tab later today to download that. Now, maybe you want to make sheet load your own. I do give you some alternative ideas down here at the bottom, but this is just a great jumping off point for you to get started on your card making. And speaking of you making cards, if you do share online down in the description box below, I have a video that has some show us your sheet load guidelines. You can share online, or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. If you do share online, make sure to use the hashtags at the top of the printable. I always like to go out there and see what everyone is creating. Page two of the printable is gonna show you how to cut your pattern papers and card stocks. Now, although channel members do have access to an SVG for the focal point, I do show you here on page two how you can cut your circles and chop just a little bit off if you don't have an electronic cutter or you're not yet a channel member. In tomorrow's video, I will showcase the free SVG, but I will also show you how easily you can make those focal points yourself. Before I show you the first set of cards I made this month, let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I used. I almost forgot that I wanted to tell you about a special live stream series that starts today on my channel. Just like last year, I'm going to be going live from December 1st through 24th to open some crafty advent calendars and create tags with some of the new items. Make sure to check out the description box below for the link to the day one video and the playlist. I hope to see you there! You might have already seen by my sleeves that the weather here in Nebraska is getting chillier. So when I stopped by Scrapbook Haven recently, which is my local scrapbook store here in Omaha, and I saw this pattern paper, I knew I just had to get it for some winter cards. Not only is this page gorgeous, but look at that knit kind of sweater paper that goes with it. I thought I would stick with more of a winter or warm theme. So for my sentiment, I use this set from Simon Says Stamp called Joyful Season, and I use the Warm Holiday Wishes. To stamp that, and for my matting cardstock, I'm using Tailored Expressions Blue Cheese. I thought that was the closest I had to kind of match the blue in the paper. Now in tomorrow's process video, I will tell you about other products and tools that I used. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards using the December 2024 sheet load. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at my first set of cards using the December 2024 sheet load. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. If you would like to download the printable to make your own sheet load of cards using the December 2024 edition, as always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel before you click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute. 
If you're not yet subscribed, it's free, quick, and easy. Just click on that subscribe button below this video. And while you're there, turn on the bell for all notifications so you'll know when I've uploaded my latest videos. We do just go on the honor system here. I don't make you send me any proof. So please make sure you've clicked on that button before you click on the link. You're gonna find the link to this month's PDF down in the description box, right below my PO box address. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can download it to your device and print it like I have, or you can download it to your device and just use it on screen. Until tomorrow, when I'll be back to show you how I made my cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.